All right, welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am here to talk about the people's champion, Frankie Edgar, making his final walk to the octagon. Really rooting for him, and that is really going to cloud my judgment, just to give you a spoiler for my prediction. But, look, Chris Gutierrez, I see what everyone else sees. He's a really good fighter. He's 6 1 and 1 in the UFC. A couple of close fights with uh, Defritis and Kolarish, but he's. Uh, I think he's best at everybody but the one guy who beat him, Hione Barcelos. Even the Cody Durden fight, uh, well, you know, the Cody Durden did potentially have a round one, 10-8 uh, round one, so that is a fair draw. But I thought Gutierrez got the better of him overall, meaning he wins under pride scoring. But uh, Gutierrez is awesome, and his primary weapon is his leg kick. He's got two finishes via leg kicks. He took out Vincent Morales and Jimmy Flick outside the UFC. Those are both two UFC fighters. Jimmy Flick, actually, by the way, in case you don't remember him, he's coming back to the UFC after retiring. But, uh, yeah, Gutierrez, he hasn't shown to be that dangerous. He's had moments, but he hasn't shown to be that dangerous, aside from his big uh, spinning spinning knockout, whatever it was, uh, spinning back fist knockout over uh, Dana Bakiri, who, you know, was proving to be one of the more dangerous guys in the division, or seemed to be turning into one, and Chris Gutierrez shut down the finisher with his own finish, and it was awesome. That was definitely the highlight of his career, and I'm glad he's getting a step up fighting Frankie here. It's a big opportunity for him, but I'm rooting against him. Uh, Gutierrez has shown to be dangerous on other occasions, dropping Andre Ewell with a head kick. I think he dropped him. But uh, he uh, overall, he's not the most dangerous guy. He is more of a point fighter, and he's relying on leg kicks. Enter Frankie Edgar. That's where I see Frankie Edgar... This being, of all the possible favorable matchups, not that this is favorable, because again, he is a big underdog here, and Frankie's only getting older, he looks older. By the way, at the press conference, watch, you know, could it be the fucking flannel thing he had going on or whatever, he looked like Cheeto Vera, Frankie Edgar, he looked like Cheeto Vera. First I said, wow, he looks like 10 years older, and then I started looking at him, I was like, he looks like Cheeto Vera. I don't know, maybe some of the looks got transferred from the front kick, but Frankie um, Frankie is uh, still a very good wrestler, even if he's shot not as you know sharp physically and certainly not as explosive. He's still got his technique, and he's still got his heart, and he's one of the best damn wrestle boxers there ever was. So I think of all the top matchups... That he could have had, because he's not going to retire fighting someone making his UFC debut or some contender series guy who's not tested and not proven. He needs to fight someone dangerous, because he's Frankie Edgar. But of them all, this is the one I think he could win. Again, Gutierrez, 6-1-1 one one in the UFC, looking damn good as of late. But, you know, leg kicks, leg kicks and not that much danger. Even though I expect him to be a much bigger, stronger fighter like everybody is in Frankie Edgar. Uh, he's overall not as dangerous as certainly as guys like Cheeto Vera. And even in that Cheeto Vera fight, Frankie Edgar was winning. He was winning up until he got knocked out. Which, you could say that about any one of Cheeto Vera's opponents. That's true. But still, it showed that Frankie Edgar, uh, if the fight goes to a decision, he's favored to win against Cheeto Vera and probably most fighters. The Pedro Munoz fight, which was another victory of his, it was razor thin. I bet on him. I was happy it worked out, but I saw what you guys saw. Could have gone either way. Maybe probably should have gone the other way. But Frankie Edgar, in a five-round fight with a top-ten fighter, still, he did enough to put himself within the realm of winning a dicey decision, and he did so. So here he's got three rounds. Means he's got two takedowns he needs to get, if not three. And I'm betting on Frankie to get it done. Another thing that will factor into the bet, I guess, and the decision is the crowd. The crowd is going to be so pro-Frankie. Anything he does is going to get a cheer. So if the fight does go to a decision, I think that will absolutely help Frankie Edgar. I know the judges are morons and they're aware of what's going on, where they're at, and who the hometown favorite is. But it's something. It's definitely not nothing. And you know what? The judges are people too. Who wouldn't want to see Frankie Edgar go out like Rudy, you know? 
carried out on uh, shoulders and whatever. But uh, yeah, my prediction is Frankie Edgar gets it done. His odds are plus 180. Chris Gutierrez is minus 230. I, do, I didn't like any of the Gutierrez um, knockout lines. But uh, Frankie Edgar via decision is the line I've played. Plus uh, 300, Frankie Edgar via decision. And it's my prediction as well. Uh, so may as well bet on it. Let's go Frankie. I hope he has a good performance. I really hope he doesn't get knocked out. And uh, I hope he hits at least one takedown. I want to see, you know, I want to hear the crowd explode. Uh, all right, like, share, subscribe, all that horseshit. Check out my other videos.